Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and a very good day to everyone. So today's lecture is about functions and graph. Towards the end of this lesson, you should be able to define a function, identify a function from the graph by using vertical line test, identify a one-to-one -one function by using algebraic approach or horizontal line test, sketch the graph of a function, and last is the state, the domain and range of a function. So for sketch the graph of a function, you will learn this more in your tutorial class. Now let's review about relation. So what is relation? The relation between two sets X and Y is the correspondence between elements of the set X and elements of the set Y. So there are three terms you must get use of in this topic. So that is the domain. So what is domain? Domain is the element in X. And then we have word codomain. So codomain is the elements in Y. Elements in Y that map with elements in X is what we call as range. Or another word, or another word of it is image. So a, a relation can be written by first arrow diagram. So for example, this one. So we have set X in one circle, set Y in one circle. And then we map these two sets by an arrow. So from this, we, we notice, we, know, we see that A is mapped to 2, C is mapped to 2, B is mapped to 4. Another way of written relation is in ordered pairs. So we write in the form of X and Y. So from this, from the first diagram, so we can put in ordered form. So we can write as A2. A2 means A is the object, 2 is the image, B is the object, 4 is the image, C is the object, and 2 is the image. So there are four types of relation. First, we have one-to-one -one relation, so meaning that every object in set X will map to one object in set Y. And then we have many-to-one relation. So many-to-one relation, many, many objects from set X will map to one image in set Y. So uh, from this diagram, you can see that 3, 2 and negative 2 a mapping to 4. And then we have one to many relation. So meaning that one object from set X will map to many image in set Y. And the combination of many to one and one to many relation. So we have the fourth types of the fourth type of relations that is many to many relation. So now what is functions? A function is defined as a relation in which every element in the domain has a unique image in the range. So there are two main conditions of a function. So first, every element in X is mapped to an image in Y. Second, each X only related to one and only one element of Y. Mapping is another name for function. A mapping of function f from set A to set B is usually written as f double dot A arrow B. So we read this uh, f function f map mapping A to B. If an element X of set A is mapped into an element Y in set B, so Y is an image of X. So this image of X is thus represented by F of X and we write as Y is equal to Fx. So these are examples of function. So we have set X, we have set Y. Okay, so every element in set X is mapping to each element in set Y. So this is one to one function. So for these examples, 
this is many to one function because if you notice that this uh, the two object the two object from set x is mapping to one image in set y so many to one function so this this uh, this uh, another example but this is not a function because uh, so because you can see the, the object of c so it has more than one image and then with from this diagram this is also not a function because not all element in a has image in b so d has no image as a conclusion so functions is one to one relation many to one relation and only one arrow in each x so note that both of this type can be onto or not onto means every y is mapped with at least one x let's look at this example determine whether the following ordered pass is a function so you can see this clearly if you can sketch if we can sketch the arrow diagram so here say we have one object and then we have eight eight three and six okay so eight one map to five and then 8 map to 4 3 map to negative 2 1 also map to 0 and the last one is negative 3 so if you can see that 1 is mapping to 2 image so therefore we can say that this it is not a function it's not a function now example 2 so given that x is 0 1 2 and 3 y is set of integers so we want to illustrate fx equal to x plus 4 in the form of ordered pairs so fx fx is equal to x plus 4 so if x is equal to 0 then we have 0 plus 4 which is equal to 4 if x equal to 1 <coughs> then we have 1 plus 4 which is equal to 5 if we have x equal to 2 then we have 2 plus 4 which is equal to 6 and we have fx equal to 3 so we have 3 plus 4 which is equal to 7 so the ordered pairs we have 0 map to 4 1 map to 5 2 map to 6 and 3 map to 7 sorry. so 3 map to 7 so this is the answer so we put it in set form ok so if we want to write it in arrow diagram then we just write we just draw 2 circle so first circle should be x one should be x this one should be y so it map through a function f of x equal to x plus 4 so if we have one, zero, x is equal to 0 1 2 and 3 so here we have 4 5 6 and 7 0 will map to 4 1 will map to 5 2 will map to 6 
and 3 will map to 7.